Hi guys, Jin here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Scented. It's been a long time. In this pot here is soy wax. I am making candles today. So, and here's my big bucket of wax. Um, and here are two that I have that are cooling. This one, I'm not sure if you can see the color very well, but it's a lavender color. It is uh, lavender scented. And then this one is a purple. It's kind of hard to see the color on here. It's not very good. But it's black raspberry vanilla. And I've got all my colors here. Um, this is my notes. I do notes of what I'm doing, of how much wax I need, my fragrance, uh, etc. What I'm when I'm pouring. And um, I'm going to cover you guys up so I don't make you dizzy. Go on to the table. Okay. Well, here are the tins that I use. This box is getting pretty low. There's one more layer underneath of that one. These are my 8-ounce tins uh, that do 6-ounce candles. And then these are my 16-ounce tins that do 12-ounce candles. And over here on the table, this is an order. I have their order sheet here uh, that I just packaged up. There's 45 candles in there, and then there's five more that's going to have to go in a smaller box because the Region C box will only hold uh, 25 pounds, and this weighs just over 24 pounds, so I can't add any more candles in there. So um, we'll ship the rest of her candles in a Region A box. And here is what I've been working on this morning. Uh, these are the six ounce candles. And in the back we have um, marshmallow. No, salted caramel. <laughs> we have salted caramel. Then we have plumeria. Then we have Fruit Loops, which should be a really bright green. And then we have the olive branch. And I'm getting ready to pour, these are big ones, of the lavender and black raspberry vanilla. In the back are candles that I have done that are for orders. Um, these are ones, you know, that I'm finishing for the orders. Um, all of them come with the label on the top um, of what the scent is. Just a little sticky label that you can pull off. All the candles come with a caution. Ooh, with a caution label. And then that is, that's my Holly Jolly candle that I made. It's, these are going in my um, my Christmas gift, box, gift boxes that I'll be showing you guys soon, those. So I will pause and I guess I can show you guys me pouring candles. You know, it's kind of boring, but you know, you might want to see. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about my process that I do. Um, what I do is I get my wax melted and it hits about 200 degrees or so. Um, and what I do is I pour it into my pour pots, uh, the two that I showed you. Um, I color it once it reaches the right temperature. Uh, this is not a how-to video. This is just showing you guys me making candles. And I'm just going to talk for a second. Um, and then um, once it gets to the right temperature, I add my fragrance. Um, when you do research on the wax that you use, temperature is um, very important. Um, so then I add my uh, fragrance, I stir it for one or two minutes, and then I let it rest. I come over here to the table, I get all the tins out that I need, um, I get my wicks out. Um, I use two different wooden wicks. This is a crackling wooden wick. Can you guys see that? I can't see my camera from sitting here. And then um, this is a non-crackling uh, wooden wick. And I put them together. It gives me the best scent throw in a soy candle for wood wicks. Um, I have these little tabs that go, um, that I put the wicks in. I actually have to clean these tabs because the people that make them, they're kind of dirty and they're yucky. So I have a little a wash rag and alcohol 
I don't know if I'm in the camera. I hope I am. <laughs> uh, and I spritz it with uh, alcohol and then I scrub all of the little wick tabs because I have found that if I don't do that they don't stick well to the tin and then when I pour the wax uh, they float around and it just makes a mess. I buy these, let me see am I in the camera? Yes. I buy these glue dots. Uh, they're actually, these are candle glue dots. And if you pull them out, you can see, they just pull out like this. Can you see? Yeah. They're right on top. They're super, super sticky. I just, uh, what I do is I put all of the wicks in the tabs. I cut them all at an angle. All of my wicks are cut on an angle. Which, let's see. This one, you can see it better. The wick is cut at an angle. And I put them in the little tabs. I stick the tab on the glue dot, it pops right off, and I center them all by eye, so they're not perfect, but I center them all, and then uh, by that time, my wax has cooled down enough that it's, it's safely to pour in the tins. Um, I have found that if you pour too hot, even with the glue dots, it'll release them. I'm getting the lavender one, and I I have no idea if you guys are going to be able to see good, or if I'm totally going to be in the way, but you know, we'll try. Slow and steady, because if you pour too fast and your wick does happen to get unsettled, you can move it around. But these wick tabs are flat on the bottom, so they stay in their spot. And if they actually happen to get unstuck, if you pour it easily, it will stay. If you pour too fast, then you can move your wick. And I have this paper down on the table. It catches any wax overflow I may do. And it kind of just soaks it up to where it doesn't get on my table. And I have it measured out to where I know exactly how much wax I need to fill them all. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have some pumpkin ones that I'm going to be doing. So I'll pause you guys and bring you back when I do the pumpkin. They're a little bit more exciting. Okay guys, I thought I would show you me finishing the salted caramel. Um, I have these little candy sprinkles of different kinds. Um, and these ones that are like little sugar crystals on my salted caramel, you can put some candy sprinkles on candles, but not a lot, it has to be a little. Um, too much can hinder, um, your, um, yeah, your wick. So, just a few on each candle. And you have to do this before it's, like, completely hard. As you can see, there's not many. And then I go through with my fingers. And just kind of mush them down in the wax so they don't fall out if you, you know, they stay in there. So, that is how I do my salted caramel. And this stuff smells fantastic. Just kind of give them a little mush. And I just do it... Before the candle, I mean the candle is set, obviously, because I'm pushing it. You know, my finger's not going through or anything. But it's not, like, completely hard. I could easily dig into it. And I forgot to mention, the label, like I showed earlier, with just the name on the piece of paper, that is for the wholesale orders. Um, that I have, you know, it comes with just the name on the top, and then, see, that's just the cutest. 
um, in the caution label on the bottom. The caution label is just a courtesy because, you know, a lot of people that buy wholesale candles, you know, they don't make candles themselves, obviously, or they wouldn't be buying them. So, um, yeah. Anyways, and some of them, I also put glitter on them. So I'm going to put some glitter on the, um, monkey fart, or monkey farts, on the Fruit Loops. And I do that also. They, these are just now studying. And this is a new green color, and I really like it. But you can see, let's see. Here, you can see, there it is. Let's see if I can't get the sun to hit it just right. So you can see the glitter, maybe? But it's not a lot, just a little. Okay, we'll bring you back again. Okay guys, so we are back. And I am working on the cinnamon, the pumpkin cinnamon. It smells like, it's got a lot of cinnamon note in it. The pumpkin spice, um, as you can see, it's going to be like a reddish brown, kind of a cinnamony, pumpkin-y color. Uh, once, cause the color that you see is always really deceiving, like it looks red, and it's really not. Um, what I did is I had to pour a lot of pumpkin candles, so I poured all of the ones that I needed to pour, and then there's too much wax in here to fit into my pour pots. There's, you know, there's a lot of wax here. Um, I need to do 20 of my 6 ounce candles and 5 of my 12 ounce. So what I did is once this was to temperature, I added my fragrance and then I stirred it for 2 minutes and I poured off, you guys can see back there, about 3 cups of the scent because I want that part white. And then uh, I colored the rest and um, I've just stirred in. Um, all of my color, it's completely dissolved. So we're going, I'm going, going to go to the table, if I can speak correctly, and I am going to get my tent, my jars ready. Okay guys, so I have gotten all of my tins out, and that's a weird lid. They didn't curl it. You see that? This lid I'm going to have to get a different one for. It's a good thing I have some extra lids. Um, I always have to check the bottom of the tins because um, I've actually had to have some of them replaced because they were damaged. Um, the whole, I had like, I got a box of 80 and out of 80, 42 of them um, were dented, so I had to get placements of those, and I'll show you, I've got a dented uh, tin that I can't use, and it's, you know, it's crappy because they're not cheap. The big ones cost, um, they're over a dollar a piece. But see, this right here, I can't make a candle in that and sell that. You know, I mean, that's what it's supposed to look like. And I had a box that were like that. So I can't use that one, so here's this lid that I can use to replace this lid that I don't know what happened to it. And that I'm just out. Um, if I have to test anything, then, um, you know, I've got that that I can use. So, I'm going to get out, I only have five big ones, and like I said, I use two different wicks, and I'll show you how I do this. Let me make sure you can see, because, yeah, you can. to grab a bunch of those. My little thing here, and I spritz it with alcohol. 
It just cleans these. Because like I said, they won't stick um, to the sticky thing. This is my little process that I go through. My wax goes over there on the stove cooling. Um, I like to pour it when it's around 150 or so. So I take my two wicks, I put them together. They're supposed to be the same size, but they don't always. Uh, and I know about how much I need to cut off because I've done this so many times. And as you can see, I've cut it on an angle. I hope you can see. And we just take one of our little tabs and bloop, just sits right down in there. So this is what I do. To get my wicks all ready. They, they pop right on there really easily. I really like these tabs because they all stand on their own. Makes working very easily. But um, I pre-ordered my wicks cut to a certain length. So I didn't have a ton that I was having to cut off, you know, because that's wasteful. So I need 20 of these. my son just went away. Maybe it'll come back out. <laughs> so my light just changed in here. So I make my two piles because you know I need one of each. Just one more. Oops. And I buy them in bulk about 500 at a time. Um, that way, you know, the more you buy, the cheaper your cost of materials is. And the same with these, one of each. See, and these actually are the same size. And, um, and it's about the same amount that I have to cut off of the little ones. And they just pop right on there too. Super simple. Um, it takes some testing to determine the right wick for the wax that you use, the right size wick for the container that you use. Um, it, it, it takes a lot of testing. And that's why there's a lot of candle makers out there that don't give out, you know, their information because, yeah, that is a lot of time and testing that they have went through. Um, if we are able to carry the supplies on Be Scented um, for you guys to purchase and make these, then I will do a video on exactly how to do it, but only if we are able to carry the supplies. I'm not going to make a video if we aren't, but I can make a video let you guys watch what I'm doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is pause and bring you back when I got all of these done and I'll show you me sticking them in there. Okay, I hope the camera's rolling again. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm pulling out my stickers and I just take one and I pop it on the top and it gets stuck on there just like so and I just eyeball it you know I'm not a machine and I give them a push and I have wicked that one ka -ching. well that's a message of some sort somewhere Facebook I give them all a little push um, just helps 
snug it down on there. Doesn't take long. You get the hang of it after a while. And um, it's fairly easy, fairly fast. But occasionally I get them not centered and I can get it pulled off and recentered. Um, but I tried to hit it the first time because these things are very sticky. Like, they don't come back off easily. Sorry about that, guys. I keep getting the messages. It's probably Miss Mary that helps me out. See, that one's not really right centered this way. So I can pull the, these back out and reposition them in the wick holder, and that's better. I'm not perfect, by no means. Okay, and then I'll get that for you. How's that? Is that a deal? You say hi to the camera. I'll help you. I got it, buddy. Here, you can hand me that one. Thank you. You're welcome. You want meatloaf for dinner? <laughs> yeah. Does that sound like a plan? Yes. Do this one. Yeah, I gotta get the big ones first. Mommy was getting all the little ones. So now we'll do our big ones. Now we do big ones. And now when. Hold on. And the alpha then. Here we go. Thank you, son. You're welcome. What are you watching in there? Chipmunks. Chipmunks. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That ducks on it. What does? Ducks. Huh. Look at uh, What's this stuff from? That needs to go in the trash. So, All right, guys. We're almost done. Okay, guys. We're almost done. Got one more, and then mommy will line them up. One more, one. Yep, all done. Now, <laughs> yep, can you throw done. this away? Huh? Can you throw this away for mama? Here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. All right. Now, let's turn this. You're so sticky. I'm going to get these lined up. There's those five. I only can do four across on these. Whoa. Ooh. Ugh. I smell them. Uh, there's nothing to smell. I smell this one. Okay, guys, I'll bring you back when I'm ready to pour. Okay, I'm at 
about 155 degrees, which is a good temperature to pour. Now, we gotta remember we have the frosting, so we don't wanna fill these completely. And we can always go back and add a little bit more. So we wanna go to about right there. As you can see, this is all just eyeballing it. Okay, let me go get some more. Alright. Woo! I'm not uh, the cleanest pour. For sure. Woo! See? Got to be easy. That one I poured a little bit too much. But it may be okay because I may need to go back and top them all off a little bit. Now as the wax hardens or sets, it shrinks up a little bit. So you need to keep that in consideration when you're pouring. Um, I always end up pouring a little bit more in there than what I would think. Getting the rest of my wax. a lifesaver. I love them. You can find them anywhere. Amazon, eBay, just about any place that carries a lot of candle supplies carries them. That one was too full. Okay, 25. And we need to fill some of these big ones up some more back here. Then we'll go back. And I'm just adding a little bit each one and I'll sit down I kind of can see better when I sit what level everybody's at now I do have the one that I poured too much so I'm just going to get a little pipette and I'll suck it out and put it this is how I kind of make them sort of even. Um, Cause you gotta wait anyways. Like that one's got too much. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. Hello. I'm back here sucking out wax and putting it in some other ones. Let's see. We're all, we're looking, I mean, we're looking pretty good. Everybody's fairly even. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. So I will pause you guys and bring you back when my frosting has set up. 
Okay, so I thought while we were waiting, um, I could show you guys. Look, I got wax on the table. I think it just comes right up. Uh, I thought I would show you guys how I package these for wholesale orders and also my normal soap orders that, you know, people that get candles too. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. I get my bubble wrap. This is 12 inches long. Um, I actually get it on Amazon you get a 175 foot roll for $13 that includes the shipping and it's perforated every 12 inches and for the large candles one sheet will wrap uh, the large candles perfectly and then you if I cut it in half it will wrap um, the six ounce tins perfectly and these are for an order this is the um, salted caramel so let me get the lids everybody gets a lid and everybody gets a caution sticker the caution sticker for me is just a courtesy because, you know, everybody deserves a... Uh, because if I bought wholesale, I probably wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't have these on hand. Then I would have to buy them. And then that would be another expense. So, everybody gets a sticker. And I take my little tape dispenser that I have right here oh I need a, a pen a pen 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 what do I do with my pen oh there it is I see it okay um these little sticky notes let's see this big pack here I got from Sam's Club. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe $10 or something. But there is, what, 1,800 sticky notes. So, I put the name. And stick it on the candle. Now, if I was, if this was an order that, a retail order, um, it would have my label on them. I have done one order uh, that's locally that is, it's a private label, and I designed their labels for them. Here's one of their candles. I have to take them today and drop them off. This is their label. It's a drugstore that has a coffee shop. And this is the salted caramel. And then that's their top label with the that. And then it has their information. And all the way down at the bottom it says that it was manufactured by my company. So, those are being dropped off today. Now we are ready to wrap. Put the candle in. Piece of tape. I wrap it like it's a package. Like it's a gift. Um, it protects it. During shipment. All the bubble wrap. You want to protect them. Um, I have found also in shipment the easiest part to get damaged is the bottom and sides. So, having this extra bubble around the edges is good. But since they have been bubble wrapped, I've not had any damage. 
Um, I did have some damaged previously before I started using bubble wrap, you know. Lesson learned. Pays a little extra to get good packing material. And it keeps your customers happy. But as you can see, a half a sheet. Um, there's one candle, just fine. And the um, tape dispenser is like a must have. Because <laughs> I just love my little tape dispenser. And I got it stuck to my finger. Just like so. Last piece of tape. I have an extra one for the next order. So here is her box. See, I'm gonna put it in my lap because you guys can't really see what I'm doing. So I put it in, I just stack them all nicely as best as I can. Looks about like four, and there's the fifth one going in. They're all nice and snug. Okay, here it is. They're all nice and snug. And I will get my paper. This paper is um, from a local newspaper. And it's the end rolls. And I just cram it in little crevices. And then I'll use it as a filler. Let me get her invoice put in here. We'll fold that up her invoice in. We'll finish packaging her box. If you have packing peanuts, those work. Um, I go through packing peanuts really fast. So these rolls of paper are really good. Um, they're, they cost me 50 cents. So. Alright. Let's get packing tape. And this is how do the boxes. And that is her order with the big box and the little box of her candles. Alright guys, thank you much for watching and I'll bring you back when we are ready to pipe, or not pipe, put the topping on our candles. Okay guys, we are back and this actually set up on me because I had to leave and go get Austin from the bus. So I had to gently reheat it. Um, this is a good consistency to start with, with doing a frosting. <clears throat> because, you know, this is going to start setting up fairly fast. So, this is, this is pretty good. So, what I want to do and I sometimes get this on my hands no big issue. About like that. And only having about a quarter inch of the wick stick out is fine. That's all you really need. cinnamon and if you get it on the edge of the container or on the wick itself it's okay 
it comes right off it's not a big deal because I'm quite messy hope you guys can see what I'm doing okay let's see And then if something happens and I put too much in there, I, always, I can take a, a little spoon or uh, something and scoop just a little bit of it, of it out. I just keep going. Gotta work kind of fast, especially when you got 25 like I'm doing. Done 10. You also gotta remember, try to make sure you have enough for them all. You always can go back put more on it but you don't really want to have to go back and try to take away from some because um, it may be set too much for you to do that I generally always have just a tiny bit left over not much. But as you can see, I'm quite messy. See, as you can see, the color of this is not red at all like it looked in the pot when it was liquid. It's more of a, a cinnamony brown color. This one I don't have much room so I'm not going to do as much frosting. In the big ones, the frosting um, where it's a wider surface doesn't appear that there is a mu as much on it, on them. For big ones. Got Noah sitting here with me. Yeah. Yeah. So we got three more to do. Yeah. This is way sticky. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, mommy's making a bunch of racket, ain't she? Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Uh. 
Um, 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 um. Are them things good? Yeah. Looks like I have measured Mommy. this one pretty good. Yeah. That's Mama putting this. Whip it. Whip it. No, whip it. Whip it, Mommy. Whip it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys how I clean the, the wick on that one. Say last one. We have just enough. Whoop. Whip it. Rip it. Mm. To whip it. Mm -hmm. To whip it. Mm-hmm. Say to whip it. Rip it. Is that better? No. To whip it. To rip it. I need to have that. Fast. Dusting the cinnamon. Oh, let me show them the back of my yo yo. Show them your yo yo. Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, that's good. I did, did you see it? Uh, yeah, they can see it. Back up. I'm going to show them the candles. The back. So you can see what we're doing. Can I have that same? I need it. I need it. Tap, tap. Very gently. I need that chair. No. You can sit in this chair. No. Yeah, you can. No. And then I'll show you how. I need that chair. I need that chair. I clean no. the wick. Can I eat this? And <coughs> Since I got that one, like, really dirty. No. Why do you tire? No. No one will want to have his chair. Austin. Dentist. He's been sitting in it. Okay. I need it. I do. The yellow. Okay. Please. This candle is quite dirty. Noah, if you. If Shh. Noah. Austin. Noah. Noah, if you. So okay, I just take, this is my scissors. Okay. And just run it alongside the wick. And we'll clean it off. We'll rub it on some paper towels. Just like that. See? All right, guys, I shall catch you on my next video.